Russia lost half of its active tanks in Ukraine. According to information gathered by a monitoring group, Russia has likely lost up to half of its active tanks since the start of the operation in Ukraine. Oryx, an open source intelligence website, has been collecting visual evidence of the loss of Russian military equipment in Ukraine since the conflict broke out on February 24, 2022. Oryx said that this week, the team verified the number of tanks that Russia lost was about 1,000. In addition, 544 aircraft were seized by Ukrainian forces, 79 were damaged and 65 were abandoned. Jakub Janovsky, a military analyst, said the figure did not include losses that Oryx could not visually confirm. He estimated the actual number could be closer to 2,000 tanks. Russia started the campaign with about 3,000 tanks. So most likely they lost more than half of their tanks, Janovsky said. Tanks are central to Russia's military campaign in Ukraine and are seen as the key to gaining control of territories on the battlefield. According to Oryx's calculations, the more than 500 tanks Ukraine obtained from Russia is more than the 459 tanks Kiev lost. Some Western countries such as Germany, the UK and the US have also recently committed to providing modern tanks to Ukraine. Moreover, these tanks are said to have superior technology to Russian tanks. According to Oryx, Russian armored vehicles are showing their incompetence when fighting in Ukraine. Analysts have noticed a design flaw in the Russian tank, allowing an anti-tank bullet to explode the turret. Experts also note that Russian armor was not properly maintained before the conflict, and the tanks in the warehouse may have had some parts taken away to replace spare parts for the front-line ones. Janovsky said Moscow had about 4,000 tanks in reserve before the conflict broke out. In theory, Russia still has a lot of tanks, but many are not properly maintained and can be difficult to reactivate quickly. Janovsky previously told CNN that producing a new replacement tank would be very difficult for Russia. Due to sanctions, they may have to replace sensors and electronics with inferior parts. And the number of tanks they can produce in the near term is only a fraction of what they are losing. The Oryx website says the total loss of Russian equipment, including tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, armored personnel carriers and other vehicles, is close to 9,100. Meanwhile, the total loss of Ukrainian equipment was 2,934.